today in crypto. Bloomberg, cryptocurrencies are on course for their biggest weekly surge since the last bubble and Bitcoin peaked about three years ago, ahead of a spectacular crash. The Bloomberg Galaxy Crypto Index, which includes Bitcoin, Ether and three other digital coins, has rallied about 43% this week, the most since December 2017. Bitcoin jumped to another record on Friday, with prices approaching $42,000. Cryptocurrencies are becoming emblematic both of the exuberance in financial markets as well as of the concern that the pace of gains is unsustainable. Believers in Bitcoin see it as a maturing asset that provides a hedge against dollar weakness and inflation risk. Others worry that the rally is untethered from reason and fueled by vast swaths of fiscal and monetary stimulus. The surge in Bitcoin is indicative of froth but not only in that market, in many other areas where risk premiums have come down sharply in the past year despite a recession, said Kevin Karen, portfolio manager for Washington Crossing. We view Bitcoin as a proxy for risk appetite. Commentators have pointed to a range of potential sources of demand for cryptocurrencies, ranging from rampant speculation by stuck-at-home day traders to increased purchases by institutional and corporate investors. The potential for upside of historic proportions suggests investors should keep buying Bitcoin and Ether, according to Rich Ross a technical strategist at Everett Corsi. But in a note Wednesday he also described the outlook as tulip-like, a reference to the 17th century mania for tulip bulbs that led to one of history's most infamous market bubbles and crashes. The total market value of cryptocurrencies surpassed $1 trillion for the first time this week after a five-fold climb in the past year, data from tracker CoinGecko shows. CoinGecko's figures cover more than 6,000 coins. It seems like we're in the middle of a simultaneous awakening among institutions to Bitcoin as an uncorrelated store of value assets with the possibility of serving as an inflation hedge in the face of a highly unconventional monetary policy environment, said Franks B. Terry, chief revenue officer at CoinShares. Adds investor comment in the fourth paragraph and updates prices. Copyright 2021 Bloomberg LP Several prominent analysts say Ether, EDH, is on the cusp of a major bull run despite already gaining nearly 65% in 2021. Ethereum has seen explosive growth in decentralized finance and other areas, causing user activity on the blockchain to surge. Raul Payal, CEO of Real Vision Group, pinpointed the technical structure of ETH's price. He emphasized that the structure is strikingly similar to Bitcoin, BTC, in 2016 which means a prolonged bull rally could emerge. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. When the Securities and Exchange Commission gave its blessing to social media platform Imgo to launch Fcoin, it was a major leap forward for acceptable scope of crypto applications. The implications for what sorts of projects the SEC considers a security are, in and of themselves, huge. But part of the appeal of Fcoin to the SEC is that, with its stable price and clear use case, Imvu has managed to demonstrate to the Commission that the token is a means of making the platform a more lifelike digital world that is more fun to hang out in. We have the economy centralized and contained global use inside the snow globe, and where KYC will factor in conservative partnerships for cautious regulators. Continue reading on Coin Telegraph. As the price of gold plunged on Friday, CNBC's Jim Cramer said the rise of crypto may partly explain the sudden disinterest in the precious metal, a potential sign that the mainstream has flipped the script on Bitcoin, BTC, and digital assets. When asked why gold isn't rallying amid the political chaos on Capitol Hill this week, Cramer said the market is either not as chaotic as it seems or that all of the money is going into cryptocurrency. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Money Reimagined, Bitcoin's Road to Gold Bitcoin may not be digital gold just yet, but, with institutions accepting the business case and the price rising, it's well on the way. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.